Senator Chuck Grassley expands his investigation into the Department of Defense Office of Net Assessment. Grassley has asked for more information about the payments to one of the office's contractors, Stefan Halper, an alleged Intel community informant. One America's Richard Pollack has more from Washington. Senator Chuck Grassley has expanded his investigation into the Department of Defense's Office of Net Assessment. The office was supposed to be a unique, futuristic think tank reporting directly to the Secretary of Defense. But Grassley, in his January 22nd letter, noted the office may have become a part of the deep state. He asks if the office awarded contracts to Stefan Halper, who hired the Russian intelligence officer and who contributed to the now discredited Trump dossier. To dig into this obscure office, whistleblower Adam Lovinger, in his exclusive interview, talks to us about how it has become a slush fund for Washington's politically connected. First, Lovinger tells us of the office's original mission, which was set up as a think tank for our secretaries of defense. There was some very deliberate uh, thinking that went into the placement of the office that this had to be the Secretary of Defense's think tank to advise him on uh, difficult strategic challenges. How many net assessments have they produced over the last decade? The Office of Net Assessment produced no net assessments to inform our wars in Iraq and Afghanistan and has produced no net assessment uh, on Iran, for example. And so truly, when you look at the, the range of threats to the United States, um, the office has actually avoided all of those. There hasn't been a single net assessment over the last decade from this office? That's correct. And what uh, Senator Grassley has revealed in his letter is that it's really a two-part problem. One is that the office is derelict in its duty, its primary duty, to produce these high-level strategies known as net assessments. And secondly, what has it become? And what it's become is a slush fund for politically connected contractors. The contracting system in the Office of Net Assessment is utterly broke. Now, can you characterize the corruption even a little bit more? I remember that there was a uh, person, a contractor, who was picked up, who was best friends with Chelsea Clinton, and her mother was then the Secretary of State. And this person won this contract. Are those the kinds of corrupt practices that you saw? The contractors chosen are not chosen for their ability to contribute to net assessments, which is really uh, the reason why they should be chosen. They're chosen because they're the friends of the leadership of net assessment. Now, I understand a large number of people uh, identified with President Obama in terms of national security, and to a certain extent they do not themselves identify with President Trump's policies. The office, unfortunately, I mean, the leadership was in place, put in place by President Obama. It leans leftward. Uh, it's an office that has historically downplayed the strategic threats uh, posed to the United States by our adversaries. For One America News, this is Richard Pollack from Washington. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.